What's up everyone, it's Kadi with Money Vesting. In this video, we are gonna be talking about Shopify, which is up a little bit over 17% pre-market. So I'm gonna break down everything you need to know about the earnings that they just reported and the potential that this company has over the long term because it is now starting to turn the corner towards profitability. So that's what we are gonna discuss. As always, if you enjoyed this video, find it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time and the link to our Discord and Patreon is gonna be down below. If you're interested in joining us and of course getting access to all the buying alerts, options alerts, trade ideas, everything is gonna be included with the link down below. The first week of the month is the best time to join and we have very limited spots available. So the link's gonna be down below. So this right here is the numbers. Shopify stock rockets after earnings as company will sell logistics business. So first of all, the revenue came in with a strong beat at over $1.5 billion and EPS also coming in at five cents per share profit versus the loss expectations of about negative four cents per share. So if you come over to the actual uh, price of the stock, it is pushing up over 17 and a half percent, trading as much as $54 and 40 cents, pretty much getting up to that resistance. We'll talk about that later in the video as well. Now, going over to some of the numbers, so gross merchandise volume, which is very, very important for these types of businesses. So GMV increased 15% to almost $50 billion. Total revenue was up 25% to 1.5 billion. So it's reporting growth here, despite what we are seeing in more of a macroeconomic standpoint. Merchant solutions revenue increased 31% to 1.1 billion and gross payment volumes also increasing to 27.5 billion dollars subscription solutions revenue increased 11 percent to 382 million and monthly recurring revenue or mrr increasing a 10 percent to 116 million dollars now gross profit grew 12 percent to 717 million dollars by the way they also mentioned they are going to be laying off close to 20 percent of their workforce so they are doing job cuts and that's going to be reducing some of that cost increasing that bottom line Operating loss was still at $193 million um, and adjusted operating loss was about $31 million, not to mention that comprehensive net income, once those adjustments are made, was up a little bit, I think over $70 million, which we'll get to in just a minute. So CapEx, $14 million compared to $16 million in the first quarter of last year. So they are certainly reducing some of those expenses and free cash flow came in at $86 million or 6% margins of that revenue compared with a negative free cash flow of $41 million. So positive free cash flow, positive comprehensive income, and not to mention revenue, subscription, monthly recurring revenue, gross profit, everything growing on a year over year basis. This right here is gonna be the second quarter 2023 revenue to grow at a similar rate to the first quarter. So we're expecting another 25% print on the second quarter revenue growth. Gross margins similar to the first quarter gross margins. So expecting another 54, 55% margins. And uh, operating expense dollars when excluding one-time expenses related to planned sale of a logistic business and severance to decrease by mid single digit percentages compared to operating expenses in the first quarter 2023. So they are expecting a quarter over quarter sequential decline in operating expenses um, as there's gonna be some layoffs happening as well. So this right here is the actual income statement. So again, $1.5 billion was the total revenue. Cost of revenues also increasing by not as much as the revenue growth there. So that's very good. Sales and marketing was declining at 287 million. R&D was slightly higher and we did have general administrative expenses. Slight increase So the rate of that growth is definitely slowing down for the company. So total operating expenses, 910 million and operating loss. And then of course, other income uh, added back. And as a result, net income of close to $77 million. That, that's a comprehensive net income with an EPS of about 5 cents per share. This right here is gonna be the balance sheet. So they are sitting on about $1.7 billion worth of cash. Marketable securities are 3.1 billion. So that's about 4.8, 4.9 billion dollars worth of cash in marketable securities. And uh, they've got uh, you know total assets sitting at just under $11 billion. And we've got long-term uh, liability. So convertible senior notes is what's gonna be over here at 914 million. Not to mention their total liabilities at 1.6 billion dollars. So when you have a company that has over 4.8, almost $5 billion in cash and marketable securities, and less than $1.6 billion of debt, that's a pretty good balance sheet. They've got enough cash to pay down all their debt, you know, four times over. So that's that's a really strong balance sheet to begin with. Now going over to the overall numbers here. So revenue, consistent growth, gross profit, consistent growth, 
Operating income, not so much. It's been very shaky. It's been very inconsistent. But hopefully in the future, as the company has suggested, they're going to be lowering down on operating expenses, lowering down the cost of employment. So job cuts are going to be on the way. And as a result, there is profitability potential for this company. And which is why analysts are very, very optimistic that Shopify is going to grow earnings from four cents this year, all the way to $5.50 by 2032. And from four cents to over $3.20 uh, by 2029. So those are very significant growth rates because once you plug these numbers in to our spreadsheet, that is going to be a growth rate of 74%. I'm taking into account 2024 numbers of 20 cents to 320. That's a 74% CAGR, not to mention by 2032, it's gonna be over 51% compounded annual growth rate for the business. So when we're doing our assessment, I'm gonna plug in 2024 net income of $250 million. That's gonna be given the share count today at roughly around 20 cents per share, which is what the analysts are also expecting from Shopify. And uh, when I plug in the numbers, the growth rates, I'm going to uh, keep them very consistent, right? I'm not gonna go with a crazy 75 to 80% number, but let's just go with 50% for a growth rate, meaning that Shopify's net income is going to grow by 50%. Actually, it needs to be a little bit higher, uh, closer to 75% is when we're gonna get up to 320. But again, I'm not gonna go with that number because that seems a bit too high. So we'll just go with 60% net income because this is a company that has consistently proven to grow revenues, pro gross profits. Um, the only problem has been on the bottom line, which can be turned profitable um, as the operating expenses starts to go down or operating leverage starts to increase in the future years. So it's not really, it's not a huge problem for Shopify as opposed to it might be for some companies like, you know, Tattoo Chef, for example, where they're already selling below cost and their gross margins are less than 1%. That becomes a much bigger problem. But for Shopify, when they have over 55% gross margins and they're still unprofitable, that's a more of an operating problem than anything else, right? So they can really turn the switch and become profitable in the future if they play their cards right. So 60% growth rate in net income, it's possible for a company that you know is consistently growing revenues, even if they modestly grow revenues in the future, all they really need to do is make sure that they manage costs well and the net income is gonna increase those margins in the future. Because it is, at the end of the day, it's really a SaaS company, right? It's a software as a service. You expect margins to be higher and that's really where that needs to be over the long term. Now, discount rate is gonna be 12%, 10% margin of safety, and we're gonna go with 5% share dilution. Now, the P multiple, that's gonna get quite interesting because right now, since you know it's been a loss-making company, we don't really have a sound evaluation on Shopify. But if I go with let's say, you know, 30 to 40 times earnings because of the 60% growth rate, which seems to be pretty high, let's just go with 40 times earnings. Uh, we end up with a fair value of close to $33 per share, which right now pre-market trading at $54. In fact, it was trading as low as 46 uh, yesterday. Um, so that's gonna be the fair value. And that's also based on very, very aggressive assumptions. You can see 60% growth rate of 40 times P multiple. If they actually do 74%, which is what the analysts are expecting, uh, then the fair value is uh, pretty good. At $50, that's gonna be the number. And right now it's running at 54. So it's very much in line with what the analysts are forecasting for the next six years, because we're pricing in 2024 numbers here um, at a 74% growth rate. Uh, but really, it depends on your assumption. This is gonna be a bit more aggressive. It's not a value stock. It is definitely gonna be a super high growth company because analysts are expecting huge growth in EPS and net income over the next five to 10 years for Shopify. But for me, I'm gonna be a lot more comfortable, especially considering that they're now starting to turn the corner. I would be a lot more you know, open to this stock or open to this investment for the long term at closer to $30, $35. Uh, because that's gonna be you know, a little bit over 60% growth, even then it seems a bit too high and 40 times P multiple. Uh, this right here is gonna be the technicals. Again, we're kind of trading back up to that resistance $54. If you see that momentum kind of carry us forward, next resistance and target's gonna be at $75 per share. So this right here is gonna be that level to watch and support level is gonna stay put at 41 to 35 to as low as 29 to $30. This right here is a level that I'm really paying attention to and where I would be very much interested in uh, taking advantage of those deals for Shopify. Since October, you can see the stock is now up 129% and year to date after today, it's gonna be up a little bit over 40, 50% on the year. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below for Shopify.
Are you buying, selling, holding? What are you doing with this company? I would love to know. As always, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time. The link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below. As always, happy investing, and I'll see you all in the next video.